Hi everyone, I'll be showing how you can install the Refine Boot Manager in Arch Linux so you can dual boot with your other OSs. I currently have Grub installed and I have Arch Linux and I have Windows here. So first go into Arch. Once logged in, open up a terminal, sudo in. I'm going to type in aptest-l to show my partitions. And you can see here I have my EFI partition for Windows. And here's our Microsoft reserved partition. And this here would be my C drive, the 102 gigabyte partition, Windows recovery, EFI partition for Arch Linux. And finally, my Linux file system 23.9 gigabytes, which is for Slash. So the Arch Linux EFI system partition is mounted, but the Windows EFI system partition is not. It doesn't have to be mounted. So I'm going to install Refine using Pacman, Package Manager. Yes. All right, it's completed the install. And after installing, there's a Refine-install script, which will make it easier to put on the system. Before doing that, I'm going to go into my EFI partition. And we see here there is grub and going to the EFI directory and there's arch and boot directories. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to run the refine install script. All right, installation has completed successfully and we go into the boot directory and we see the refined Linux configuration. And if we go into EFI directory and we see here that there is the refine directory and there is a tools directory. Go into refine, and we see here there's a refine related files. I'm going to go out and go into the tools directory, and it's empty. I'm going to type in EFI boot manager, and this will show the boot entries. And we see at the bottom here there's a refine boot manager, so it has been added in, and the boot order is 5, 4, 2, 3, 0, and 1. So it's going to look for the Refine Boot Manager first. And now I'm going to restart my computer. All right, and we see here the Refine Boot Manager. And the first option here is to boot Microsoft EFI Boot. So it'll boot Windows. And here's the fallback bootloader. And as you select it, it just loads up Refine again. And the third option here, it will boot into Arch Linux. And the fourth option here, this will boot Grub. And so for example, if I want to hide one of the options, let's say this option here, I can select it and hit the delete key. And it asks if I really want to hide, yes. And it has been hidden. And if I want to make it visible again, just scroll down, go to manage hidden tags, and select the tag and hit enter to restore it. And it is back there. So I can boot Linux directly and boot it directly into Arch. I'm going to try the other options. Boot Windows. And it's booted into Windows. And I'm going to go back. All right, and I'm back. And the last option is to boot Grub. And it'll boot into Grub. And I can go into Arch Linux again. And if you want to remove Refind and go back to Grub, open up a terminal, sudo in, EFI boot manager, and I'm going to remove the last entry there, the Refind boot manager, number five. Check again to confirm. And we see it's been removed, it's no longer there. And I'm gonna go into the boot directory. And I'm gonna delete the configuration files related to Refind. The Refine Linux comp file, going into EFI, removing the Refine directory, and the tools directory, which is empty. I'm going to remove that directory. And lastly, I'm going to remove the Refine package. And now I'm going to restart. All right, it's back in Grub. So that's it. That's how you can install Refine in a dual boot setup with Arch and Windows, and also if you want to remove it after. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.